Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with a spicy, delicious deviled shrimp ragu. We're going to serve that over that creamy corn custard we did the other day. This is kind of a refined take on the southern classic shrimp and grits and uh, really simple to make, incredibly delicious. So here we go. I had eight ounces of shrimp, which I peeled and deveined. Do not throw away the shells because we're going to make a really simple shrimp stock. So in a dry saucepan, I threw the shells in with a bay leaf and a pinch of smoked paprika. And I just sauteed that in its own juices for about three, four minutes. That's right, with my freakishly small wooden spoon until it turned this beautiful pink color and it started to smell like cooked shrimp, almost like a grilled shrimp aroma. When that happens, you're going to dump in water, bring it to a simmer, Reduce it to low and just let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. And you're going to make yourself a really nice, quick shrimp stock. All right, so while that's simmering, we're going to make the base of our sauce. And it's, I'm calling this deviled shrimp because it's, you know, a red spicy sauce. So I have some ketchup, some garlic, some fresh lemon juice, brown sugar. And then we're going to spice this up a little bit with some chipotle pepper. Or as I like to refer to it as ground flay. All right, if you get that joke, you watch a lot of Food Network. Some more smoked paprika, big pinch of salt. You want to throw some cayenne in there to taste, of course. 25 minutes later or so, I'm going to strain my shrimp stock. By the way, all the amounts, as per usual, are on the website. And that is a really nice, simple, flavorful stock that we got for free. The shells came with the shrimp. I'm going to add that to my deviled shrimp sauce base, whisk that up, and set it aside. All right, the other ingredients here besides our shrimp stock, sauce mixture, some fresh chives, and some cold butter. That's going to be the secret to finish this sauce. So in a large skillet, we are going to take about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil, swirl it around, coat the bottom, get this going on high heat, and when you see just the first small wisp of smoke. Throw in your shrimp. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to toss these around and like stir fry them. I'm just going to put them in one layer and just leave it on high heat for about three minutes. I want to get one side really seared. I want to build a little bit of a, a fond as they call it on the bottom of the pan which is just the caramelized juices. If you toss this around, you know, it might start to kind of boil in its own juices. So see, by leaving it on just one side, I'm going to get a nice little caramelization on there. Because this is going to cook in the sauce, basically. Throw in your sauce mixture. Give it a stir. And because these shrimp aren't really large, you'll have to adjust, you know, depending on the size of shrimp you're using. These shrimp were not that big. So I just cooked that for about a minute. And then I fished them out with a slotted spoon. The heat is still on high. And what I'm going to do is reduce this sauce a little bit for a few minutes. And I don't want to overcook the shrimp. So if you wanted to, you could maybe just do this all the way. Just reduce it with the shrimp in there. Probably would be okay. But you know, I got to go chef on this thing and kind of do it the right way. We're going to boil that sauce for, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes. Not that long. And it's going to just start to thicken up slightly. We don't want a thick gravy, but something like that's good. Now to finish the sauce, extremely easy. We're going to throw in our cold butter. We're going to turn off the heat, and there's enough heat in that pan to finish this dish. So the butter's going to slowly melt and emulsify into that sauce. All right, very classic way to finish pan sauces. It's going to get nice and shiny and rich. As soon as the butter melts, throw in the shrimp, throw in the chives, toss it around, and you're ready to serve. Of course, you're going to taste and adjust for seasoning. So easy, and like I said, incredibly flavorful. You can make this as spicy as you want. You could add more cayenne, more ground chipotle pepper. All right, to serve this, very simple. You're going to reheat your corn custard. I just put it in the microwave for a minute. We're going to place the shrimp around. For eight ounces of shrimp, you could get four appetizers out of this, two more generous ones, up to you. Spoon over that rich, amazing sauce. And that was magnificent. So delicious. What a great combination. Talk about perfect contrasting ingredients. The firm, spicy shrimp with that soft, creamy custard. It just doesn't get any better than that. Perfect summary first course. Great as a light entree. I hope you give this a try. Go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.